all unknown. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new episode of the Football Known Podcast. I am your host, Karel Rosary, and today I'm going to let our guest introduce himself before we kick it off. So guests, take it away. Thank you, buddy. Um, well, my name is Francisco Capelin, better known as Kiko. I play for Jacksonville University. I'm a senior there. Okay. I was born and raised in the Dominican Republic, and oh. I'm glad to be here. Okay, wow. Well, so, man, I'm not sure. I think that this is the first ga- person we had on from that's from the, the Dominican Republic. I so, think it could be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna dive into that a yeah, little for bit. Sure, for okay. Sure. So, before I kick it off, man, I'm going to hit you with the famous question. All right. When can you recall the first time that you fell in love with the game of football? I, I think I can. It was in the Dominican Republic. Okay. And I was around 12. So, all my friends oh. back home, back home to Dominican, I don't know if you know, we're famous for baseball back home. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I heard that. Yep. It's our yep. like, primary sport. So, soccer's not really in the, in the frame there. Yep. But my friends in high school, in, in middle school, elementary, sorry, they used to play a lot of soccer just as recreational. Mm-hmm. And I was not really sports oriented. Okay. And one day, I think my parents signed me up for soccer practice. Okay. And I didn't know I was signed up for soccer practice. So the yep. coach told me, hey, Kiko. So they called me back home as well. Kiko? Uh, Kiko, yeah. They called me Kiko so in soccer as well. Yep. Um, come stay for practice. Your parents signed you up. And I think after that day, I was like, wow, I really like the sport. Like really? it was, I, Before that, I used to do nothing at all yeah i would just like go to school yeah go home or go go back home mm-hmm. and repeat the same day but i think i actually, actually found something else to add to my absolutely. day absolutely and i think that's the first time i actually go like wow I like i didn't know how to play i was awful mm-hmm. when i was mm-hmm. like 12 and 13. yep but it's like you know get, getting that first experience with yeah the game, for sure for falling in love with the game like getting to know it getting to love it i guess absolutely. it's just getting your basics absolutely it's, yeah. that, it's really important you get the first experience and you Definitely. love that first experience Definitely. because it's going to dictate how you how like your relationship with the game later on yep, yeah absolutely and and so it was in the school you attended yeah and then you did your mom signed you up for for soccer practice after yeah. school yeah so was it like it was recreational at the time right it's just back then it was I, recreational you played other schools but okay. it was nothing competitive yeah. and later on as i grew a little older i got more into it i got a little better and i joined absolutely. clubs back home in the dominican oh okay. and that's when i get a little more competitive right wise right so so you said so baseball is the number one sport yeah what are the, the other two? Like what 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 do you what do you rank? There? You play back home in the Dominican. Yeah. You play baseball yep. first. Yep. Then you have basketball. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I heard about basketball. You have track and field. Oh. Yeah. They're really good at track and field. Yeah. Uh, worldwide, and then you have soccer, which oh, is so growing, which is growing. It's growing up. It's, it's growing, growing up now. But I think soccer is almost like matching track and field, if not oh, overcoming it. Really. Yeah. But you have baseball and basketball first, baseball. and then yeah. Isn't Puerto Rico the same? Like similar? Yeah. They're like it's, it's almost the it's same the, thing. Like the same they're thing. really good at baseball. They're really good at basketball. Yep. For this for the country size as well. Absolutely. I mean, it's not as big as the U.S., but you still get a good base of what the baseball culture is absolutely and then you have basketball and then soccer is growing in puerto rico it's as growing well. puerto rico yeah okay. so okay okay maybe cool. it's a little bigger right now in the dominican but it's still growing in puerto still rico growing. as well yeah yeah for sure so how was you know the like joining the club for the for your first time right you know how, how was that and how is like the club system in in the, in the in the dominican republic compared to the u.s yeah for sure it's a little different um you don't have as many teams in the dominican as you have here here okay. you have, yeah, you have mls next yeah. ecnl you absolutely. used to have da yep back home you have I'm going to give you a number. You have like 12, 13 academies in the whole country. Absolutely. And okay. you join one of the academies and you have, there you have U12s, U15s, U16s, okay. U17s, U19s. Okay. All the way to U20s yep. at max. Yep. And I joined the U13s first. And it was kind of scary when you first joined because you're playing with kids that have actually been playing since they're eight. Exactly. Since they're right. In the academy, yeah. academy sphere, right? Yeah. It's, it's a fear. So yep. you're joining kids at we're taking out of the streets Absolutely. to play in the academy and they're, these uh, kids already have the technique, they yep. have the grit of a soccer player yep. and you're literally just showing up to the game, just getting to like start the game, to love yep. the game yep. and and you're getting matched up against kids that are actually a little bigger than you, maybe a little stronger, quicker yep. and better technically, being honest. Mm-hmm. But I, I think it's part of the nice thing of a soccer that you get to play better players and you get to in, either in match them Absolutely. or get beaten by mm-hmm, them. Mm-hmm. So once you match them, I think that's where the pretty thing of the sport comes. Okay. For sure. So going back to that time, right? Mentally, where do you think, where were you like compared to all of these other players? Mentally? Yeah. I think mentally I was in a really good place. Really good place. Because I did, I, I wouldn't say I was trying as hard as, as be good at the sport. I was yep. just having fun. Yeah. Like it was a way for me to be with my friends as well. Ah, I so see. I, I don't, I, I don't see. think I was like, okay, I have to be a starter. I have yep. to win. If I want to begin this game, I have to start next game. Mm-hmm. I was just, I was just there just for the enjoying experience. Enjoying it, enjoying the experience. And right? I think that's what got me really far soccer wise back home. Okay. That I, the whole time I played the sport until I got a little more competitive, 16, 17, mm-hmm. all the way from 12 to 15. I just enjoyed the, I made sure I enjoyed the game. Wow. Yeah. 
and so uh, so you had friends moving into there. So you knew some guys before you. Yeah, made yeah. The move? I, I have friends within the teams and within the clubs. Yeah, and I saw where they were joining. So I was like, I mean, yeah, I might I'm as well just follow. Yeah, yeah. Soccer's really is way cheaper back there than okay. the, here too. So it's it's really easy to move from team to team yep. back there and and like so is it like a tryout thing so do you have to like try for the academy before you make it or or like do they yeah, work with you, you at that age you get to try out if you're a little younger maybe like u8 u9s they would just they, throw they you probably in. just let you get in and yeah. join the academy but Absolutely. you have to try out for 12s and that was okay enough to make yeah. the team the first time which yep. was uh, you had to remind me at the time i was mm -hmm. i didn't think i was gonna make the team yeah i make the team and with the academy i ended up being in the best club in the Dominican Republic, it's called La Meca del Football. Okay. Yeah, so it's nation. It's like nationwide is the best yep. youth club. Yeah. All the way from 12, 15s, 19s. Wow. They're, they're, it's just amazing club. Yep. I think that's where I got all my basics and playing school for St. Thomas School, which was my school back at the time. Wow. So you play interscholar with like against other yep. schools and you just you play club. Oh. Both so like together at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Almost wow. like here, but I I think here's by seasons where you play school and then you play club. Club, yeah. yeah but there okay. you play at the same time. Yeah. So in a weekday you could be playing against another high school or middle school. And then the weekends you you would play club yeah. with your club. So so you were busy, you know. Yeah. You, were, no, you busy. got busy if you if you picked a sport back home. You got busy. Yep, for sure. And, and were you playing for your school before you played for the academy? Yeah. So you had some competitive yeah. experience before yeah. hopping in. So the in. the coach from my school, okay, was the same coach for the academy. Ah. So I guess I, I had a little a little yeah preference connection there, yeah connection yeah, yeah. There. connection there. Yeah. Hence why I went to that club, and then that coach left the academy, and mm -hmm. I just I just I was already a name in the academy itself okay. so i just stayed in yep yeah so what are some differences that you saw between you know playing for your school and then moving into the academy like was there any differences yeah for sure i think school wise when you play other schools you saw players like i started like they're just there to have fun they're mm -hmm. just there to complete a squad yeah or they're there because their friends yeah. are, are yeah. there yeah but when you go to the club level back home you see players that are actually there because they, they want it. to be there absolutely and they want to go somewhere to the sports for a yeah. lot of players back home sport it's a way of getting out of the streets and getting their family out of the street absolutely understand that yeah understand and that. yeah i guess i was playing against a lot of players that were on that mission same as uh, same as all of us i guess absolutely. we all want the best for ourselves yep. and the best for our family definitely so yep. i guess it's a little more competitive mm -hmm. overall the level's a little higher for sure yep but i think i just think it's just it's just i think it's more fun mm. just playing a little just playing a little like club instead yep. of high school you know yep okay so what are some things that so your first year, your first year moving to that to that academy, how was it for you? Like getting accustomed to everything and like really like competing against those other academies and yeah, for in sure. The that the, the first year was the actual first year to actually. So I don't know if you know the Dominican shares so the country okay. with Haiti. Oh so yeah. So it was two countries in one. Okay. So that's the first time I actually had teammates that were did not, did not speak any Spanish. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So I would be in, in the team. It would be like fifty percent Haitian, fifty percent Dominican. Really. So you'll be playing with guys that just speak Creole or French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's then the other, and they have the team that speak Spanish. And Haitians are really good at soccer, man. Yeah, yeah. They're, like, they're sharp. Wow. So I think the first year was the first year when like, it was like culture shock. Because I'm not playing high school or middle school anymore. I'm actually yep. playing with guys I'd never seen in my life. Mm -hmm. These and guys a whole, are a whole different like culture. Yeah, if you it's will, a culture right? like you have to like respect those boundaries. You yep. have to understand. You have to. They're, they're they're not gonna like the same. They're not gonna joke the same way you yep. do. So yep. you have to. I think that's the first time. It. That's the first time I actually adapted to an environment. Yep. In my life. Okay. Compared okay. to just the environment adapting, or I, I mean, just easing through the environment. Yep. But for sure, I think that was the biggest thing my first year there, apart from the soccer level, mm -hmm. which I had to up again to match. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first thing that actually like got to me when I was like, "Whoa, this is like really different here." Absolutely, it's crazy how you know soccer can can really like expose us to to different cultures. You'd be surprised, and, yeah. Even here in the states, know? like yep. you join a college team, you join a club team, a USL two team, and you see the same thing. You are just exposed to people from all over the country, all over, all over the, the world. Yep. Absolutely, and you just keep meeting people and keep. I think that's a beautiful thing about the game. Yep, it's, just, and, it's a and connector. Absolutely, and then you guys are just joining for like one goal, one mission. Yeah, one goal is. I mean, if it's a two month goal, a one month goal, like even for ninety minutes, you guys have the same common goal. Same common goal. On the same page. I think that's a beautiful absolutely. thing about the sport. Yep. So how was the whole year recap? Right, first first year played for that academy. What are some like things like how how, how did the games go? Right. Yeah, I think you I know, was playing together. I was that I was 12, 13 that first year. Yeah. They didn't get that much playing time. Yep. I was, again, you know, I was not as good man. as the starters. Yeah. I was still getting there. I think we got to the nation finals. The club was oh. really good before before I got there. Yeah. Got to nation finals. I think we lost in the nation finals. Okay. We had a couple of first rough years when I when I joined. Yep. And overall, the experience was nice. The probably not not just much silverware as we wanted to, mm -hmm. but. The years, the years to follow, we 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 outperform every other Absolutely. team in the country. Absolutely, yep, yep, for sure. And and how many years did you spend in, at that academy? At that academy, I spent eight to nine. Eight years. years. Yeah. Okay. Overall, yeah. So so after that first year, moving into the second year, right, and and so in the years prior, if you will, 
Like, what was, how did you see yourself, like, you know, develop as a player? In that Oof, academy? man, it's, you know, it's incredible. You know, eight I think, years at, yeah. that, at, a, at a pro club I, at I think, I, I, even within the two, the second, the first two years, I think the second year I came in, I was already a starter. Oh. Already oh. getting some playing time. I was 14. Yeah, what position were you? Center back. Center back. Yeah, center back. Oh, really? Center back and right back, yeah. Yep, yep. All, over, all over the back line. Okay. I started as a goalkeeper when I was really little, but I, yep. I could not save a ball for anything, <laughs> so. So they moved me to the. I was really quick for yep. my for my for my height, whatever, mm -hmm. and I was pretty tall when I was little. Okay. So they moved me to center back. Yep. I I started getting some leadership roles. Okay. I started feeling myself. You know, when you feel yourself comfortable, yourself, you feel yourself playing. You, way better. You feel like you're way better. Way better. You start yep. talking more. As soon mm -hmm. as you start talking, you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You're you're in your, you're in the zone. You know. Exactly. I started getting in the zone. My team within my team, getting my teammates to know me, my coaches who aren't trusting me. Okay. And I think you like year two in the club, I was already a starter. Football wise, much better. Touch much better. Mm -hmm. Physically much better. Woo. Yeah, a yep. proper player. Absolutely, getting a proper player finally. Who did? Did they have like facilities or like you know? We have facilities. They're facilities. not as good as the ones here. Yeah, but yeah. you you had you definitely had your trainer. Okay. You had your your ice bath if you need. You oh. had you had your training room beforehand. It's not like the college one, the D one ones. Yeah, but but it's something. It to was start it was still something. Yeah, yeah so they, they were they were still, still taking care of you guys. Yeah, right? for Pepping sure. You guys. For sure. Okay. It maybe not as as fancy or extravagant as here, but they they we had our things. Okay. Like, oh, yeah. Wow. And how was that that year recap? You know, did we win anything at that, that, that year? Time? Second year and again, it's the second year. It's in a row. second year. We row. didn't we did not win. We got to the final again. And we, we lost the nation final, final again to the same club. Yep. Oh, it's the same club. Same club. It's the same club. It's always the same two clubs. It, yeah, but you see, like third th year three is where where things are like going up. Ah, yeah. Okay. We actually start going to the final. Yeah. We beat that team in the final. Yep. Already a starter. Already getting my first call up for the U15 national team. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So so wait 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 we gotta we gotta break that down. Okay. After the first two years, losing to the same team twice, right? I'm guessing right. We we were frustrated at yeah. that time, for right? Sure, Coming into sure. the third year, man, we wanna we wanna change something. So. Yeah. And you said we won that we won that season. We won that year. So three. what are some things that we did? Like, do you can you recall anything? I know, I, I remember it vividly. Okay, we, talk to me. We, we brought a lot of more Haitian players. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, we, yeah. Some reinforcement, man. People were yep. getting stronger, so we needed to get stronger too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess a lot of players left and came to the club. Okay. Some different breeds again. So you recruit players from the high schools and you bring them to the clubs. Ah. So players within yeah. would get like their friends from other high schools, like hey. Like come join the club Absolutely. for the season. Yep. They would join the club. The team yep. would be stronger. We had like an 18, 21 man roster of okay. you, or like all oh, there could all be starters. Like we had twenty one <sighs> starters on our team. Wow. It's just unlock if you starter or not. But we were like, we, we had like twenty one starters. starters. And man, within the tournament, within a year long tournament, that yeah. goes a long way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can imagine it goes in college as well. Yeah. If you have twenty one fit players, good enough to all start, like you're getting to the final man. four in the NCAA tournament. Absolutely. Yeah. And, sure. and I'm guessing, man, the training the training grounds was a dog fight sometimes. Yeah, right? Everyone's man. fighting for they're, that. that they were sand fights, man. Yeah, Woo! they were. So we don't have the best field, so there is it's almost like a war field, oh. and, and fields didn't help. Yeah. And people wanted to start, people wanted to play games because at 15, 16 is when you're like getting to that age. Okay. Yep, exactly. You have to take this seriously now. It's uh -huh. not a game anymore. Yep. So, so I guess yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. Okay. So moving into the let, let's fast forward that third year into the finals, right? Moving into the finals. How was that for you guys, right? Because, like, you know, moving into that third game, you're like, nah, bro, we, we're, was it the same team? Same team. Right? Same, team. same team. We're playing the same team again. They, they had a number on us, yeah, for a couple of years. Absolutely. Yeah. So how, you know, what was the mindset of the, of, and the environment of the team going into that game, right? I guess it was nerve-wracking. Okay. We, we came to that final with just one loss the whole year. Yep. Oh. Take, bear in mind, it's like a 35-game, like 35, game, 35 games in the whole season, yeah. Man. That one loss, we, we, we were sharp, we were yeah, good. Yeah, absolutely. And they knew, the other team knew we were good that year. But I guess they had the little edge over us, knowing that the last two years they were like kind of, kind of a kryptonite coming into that final. Absolutely, yeah. But I think there was just a different air in the team that mm. year. It was like, 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 man, we're hard to beat. Like, yeah. we're, we're hard to play against. We're yep. annoying. We, we're quick. We're loud. Like, mm -hmm. we know that we have something else other teams don't have. Yep. And we knew we we're gonna use that against them. Absolutely. And 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 how were they doing that year? They were doing. They were doing okay. They were not as good as us. Yeah. We both went to the playoffs, but we were higher seated. Okay. So it's, it's it was always like either they were highly seated and they won, or we were highly seated and they won and, again. And they won again. But th that year we, it was just a different feeling, you know. Different when you, feel, you you have a team, you like this, this is a different team. Absolutely. Yeah. Different era. It's an era. Right. That we had, era. and I think that year, starting that year, we started a whole year for the club to come back home. The, I think every year from that year, mm -hmm. even to to this day, I think they're not the number one club in the country. Oh, now. really? So, yeah. Wow. And so it started something. It started there. They were good beforehand as well. Yep. But I think a new year started there of control, like like domination. Absolutely. From the club back home. Absolutely. So, 
How much did, did we beat them that game? 3-0. 3-0. We 3-0'd them. They didn't even show up to play. Oh, my yeah. goodness. We 3-0'd them. That was them. bad, yeah. It was, it was, I told you, like, it was, it was a different air. Yeah. It felt like, it felt like a scrimmage, man. What? Yeah. So, how, how was the coaches, man? How was the player? How, how did, how do we feel after man, that we're just, victory, we're, we're man? Just, we were just, we were just playing soccer, man. I think yeah. we just disconnected. We scored one goal, scored two goals. We're like, man, this is, it. why well, hasn't been this easy ever. Absolutely. Coaches were fine. I think coach said one word the whole time. Really? The whole time, man. It was just us playing. We were not even talking to each other. We were just playing just the ball. Just playing the game. Just playing the game. It looked like we were playing pickup soccer. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. That's crazy, Laughing, smiling. Bro. If we won, we made a mistake. We were all smiling. We were laughing at each other like we we're boys. Literally. No yeah. way. And you could see it's, it was nice to see the other team for once. Yep. Be on the other side of Maybe the picture, too. For that's, sure. Man, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I know you guys must have felt good coming yeah. from that it's, game. It's, it's, uh, you know what I mean? Man, we live so much stress that day. Wow. You have no idea. Yeah. So after that season, was that around the, around the time, you know, you get, you're getting that call-up, that U15 call-up? I'm getting call that, up. Yeah, the U15 call-up. Talk up. to me after, about that. After how did that, that season, I'm getting After that, that season. You know? yeah. How did that happen? Talk to me about uh, how that unfolded. Well, now I'm actually a, a decent soccer player. Yep. So I'm actually not even, not that middle school elementary kid anymore okay. that just play for fun yep i'm actually playing a club i'm playing every other league i'm mm -hmm. playing five aside back home we play a lot about five aside back home yep we play yeah. seven aside i'm getting this call up for the u15 district team oh from there it's, so it's like we have districts by home i think we have like 20 districts every district make their own team okay and play the tournament within the districts yep. okay yep, yep so it's yep, almost yep. like the odp here mm -hmm. where you play odp florida uh whatever in georgia Absolutely. yeah and we, I get the call up. My first call up to any anything that's not club or high school. Yep. So I'm pretty excited. Yep. There's some some of the other guys in my team as well. Okay. And then you have some of the more of the kids from like the streets and yep. Yep. and other clubs. You know, yep. so it's it's weird getting that call up with players you play against the whole year that you yep. don't really like. Mm -hmm. But you have to you have to be you have to. you have to like let that go for at least a month and a oh, half. Yeah. Yep. While you're trying to win the common goal, like we Absolutely. talked earlier. You know. Absolutely. And so I'm guessing it was you know the top players from all of the different districts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you have high school players from rival schools, you have club players from rival clubs, and it's 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 just it's mental. You get to see a lot of players just playing together. It's Absolutely. almost yeah, it's almost like an ultimate team. Interesting. Yeah, and you're there. I started. We won the tournament, the district team. We okay. Won, yeah, we won because okay. we're the capital team, so we were the strongest team. Yep. Won the whole thing. I think it was like eight games total, and we won the we won all eight games. Oh, so it's like a knockout. It's a it's like it's a knockout. Yeah. It's so a you, knockout. you lose, you go home. Really? Yeah. So how much time did you guys have to, to prepare, man, before you that? Had, you had like two weeks. That's it. Ooh, yeah. man. Only you had two, two weeks, weeks to prepare with, and you have to make friends with these guys because you're going to be, you're not going to see your parents. You're going to live with them exactly. for, for the next month. -ish. Oh, so, you, oh, so, okay. Yeah, so wait, they have, they have you concentrated like in the, yeah. in, the, in the facility. Yep. Where you like wake up, eat breakfast. Yeah. Go practice, eat lunch. Go practice again, eat yep. dinner, go to sleep. So it's almost, yeah, it's almost like IMG. For a month. For a month. So, man, recap. Before, right, you're playing, you're playing school ball, playing, you know, academy ball. Yeah. And, you, you know, you're, you're playing against all of these different players, players yeah. that you have, you know, some tension with, right? Because, yeah. I mean, this, 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 this is the this way things sport, happen, yeah. right? And then for a month, right, you get called up and all of the top boys from all of the, all of the different clubs and schools have to come together, mm -hmm. live together for a month to compete mm -hmm. against all of the other top boys from another district. Yeah. Wow. And it's, wow, yeah, man. You get to the tournament, it's like people want it because yeah, people that's really want the it. way – you get called up to you to the national team. Absolutely. So they normally go off the best players of that tournament. Yep. So you you want to make sure you make it far. You, yep. And make sure you perform sure during you that tournament. Perform during that tournament yep. as well. And the exposure. I'm, I'm Once it's, it's the exposure is crazy. It's, it's, it's hundreds and hundreds of people at the games. Yep. And you're just playing. You're playing for a cup, or you're playing for a brighter future for yourself. Exactly. So you're, you're putting yourself in the platform during that tournament. Absolutely. So how you know how would you say you did that that tournament? Personally, I did really well. From Play there, back. from there, yeah, play center back the whole time. Center back and right back the whole time. Okay. From there, I got a call up for the U15 national team. Okay. Yeah, it's my. I think it's my only call up to the day for the national team okay. itself. Yep. Um, I got a call up from there. We won the whole thing. Yep. Personally, I did well. Mm -hmm. Defending wise, I did well. I was solid. I, I at that time I was more of a, of an established player. Yep. In the country, like yep. like I I was I was around. My name was around. Yep. Because okay. it's such such a small place. If you're a good player, you're gonna be. Yeah. You're word, gonna be word, will spread. Word, you know, word, word will spread. Word will spread. So I think I was already established there, and yep. yeah, personally, I had a really good tournament. So how did how did they, they, they come to you, right? How did the national team come to you? Was it like you know through your coach, through your parents? How did that happen? Yeah, they go to your club coach and they go like, oh. hey, like we select this player from your club. Do you think he? And they have to ask him because you're still in season with your club, and they just take yeah. you out for like oh. for like training camp. Yeah, I'm probably a, I'm probably, I'm probably a friendly against another country, another team, another whatever club. Okay, and they go like, we, we selected your your player or this two or three players. Like yep. you think they will be willing to come? 
Of course, we're going to say yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I guess sent there, was there for two weeks. It's been my only call to the day, but it's an yeah. amazing experience for sure. Okay. So it was after the tournament. How long after the tournament did they hit you up? Or, or hit up like your a, coach? I, was, I think it was like a month. I was a playing, month after? I was still playing some high school. Okay. Playing the high school season. And then yep. they were, I think my my club coach texted me like, hey, you've been selected. How did you feel, oh, man? No, man. Oh, it's, how did you it's, feel, man? It's my, it's my, my parents are the best feeling in the world, man. Really? Was, yeah, because I started, I started the sport just for fun. And yep. now I'm getting... Called up to like represent my country the U15 level, which is not much, but it's still man, it's, something. it's something, man. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot coming from you know. Yeah, the, the coming Dominican from nothing Republic. to like actually like starting to like feel like look at the sport as a lifestyle instead Absolutely. of just Absolutely. instead of just a uh, I have it a hobby or yep. something. Yeah. Yep. So it's it was definitely a, a a pleasure to be part of the national team. Absolutely. Obviously, definitely an honor. Just to wear like the the colors of your country, yeah. practicing and, and yep. training with yep. them, and you felt proud. And you, and you and you're like you're playing against players, not only the local players, but you're not actually playing against players like like from abroad. Absolutely. So they're bringing players from Spain, Germany Ooh. that actually like that have like Dominican okay. parents or them or grand grandparents. Yeah. And they can play with the national yep. team. So, so you can play with the elite. So that you can play with the you can play with really good players. So the level there's fine. Yeah, it's, it's really it's really, wow. it's really good. Yeah. Yep. So how was the you know moving into the the, the two week camp right? Cause I'm I'm guessing it was a completely different environment than to yeah, what you were yeah. used to at that point, completely. right? It's the next level. So completely. Talk to me about the, about the differences you, you know you've experienced between the I two. I think that's that in college. I think that's been the highest level of training I've seen in my life. Mm. That college in the Rowdies. Okay. I think it's been that one of the highest levels and, the, and one of the most humbling moments as well. Okay. Because you show up to that going like, okay, I'm one of the highest rated defenders or players in the country, mm -hmm. high school wise and club wise. Mm -hmm. But you show up and you have players that come from Spain you never seen before exactly. and you didn't know you didn't know there's Dominican Spanish yep. players. Yep. And these guys are actually really good too. Yeah. So I think I think it's humbling, but it's also a fun experience just to be there mm -hmm. and and get to share like and experiences with those guys, you know? Because yeah, they, now I have friends that play in Spain now in France and and and, and super play for the national team and yep. get to them when I get home. Absolutely. But I think it was one of the best experiences I had in my life for okay. sure. Okay, wow. And and talk to me about 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 the game sense, right? Like, you know, I'm guessing like the the, the technical ability and the, and the and the tactical knowledge and all that which is Oh, technical and tactical was just up up, up up the roof. You're playing with kids that have been playing the Barça Academy, yep. Madrid Academy. Yep. These guys have the first touch of a pro player, but they they're not in the first team of, of their club, so the yep. academy's back home. Wow. And technically they're adults man they're basically they're, they're basically young adults yep. so they're they're a little more built than than local kids yep yeah it's just a completely different wow. level like whatever you would think a national team is it's like a college player showing up to a national to a national yep. team roster as well yeah Interesting. it's just a completely different level yeah yep and, I, and i'm guessing you being a center back man like you really yeah. got to experience yeah. the difference yeah right? you gotta I, I use that as an experience builder really okay because i i did not start any games there had some minutes i played some minutes with the, with the team but i did not i did not start any games yep. But the guys in front of me were really good. Yep. They're really experienced. Again, I was, I think I was 14, 15, and they were like actually 15. Mm -hmm. And I, I learned a lot from the experience itself. I think I used it. Now I'm friends with them this, to this day. Yep. All, all the teammates there. Wow. Yep. And hopefully waiting for another call up. We'll absolutely, see. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Fingers crossed. Wow. Yeah. So after, so moving on, man, from that, from that two week tryout, man, you know, going back to your academy yeah. and your school. Yeah. Okay. How was it? How was it? You know, going back and just taking all the experience you learned, everything you learned, and just applying it, you know, back to where back no, to. No man, they they look at you that? different once you once you have the national team experience. They, yeah. You come back and they go like, oh, how was the national team? How was the national team? Like, like you say how they say, like yep. how were the players? You. Yep, yep, and you yep. come up with a little like sense of like like yeah, I went to the national team, yep. but I really came back hungrier because I went to a national team, but I didn't have the playing time and yep. the the exposure I wanted personally. Absolutely, absolutely. So I came back a little hungry. Like okay, I have to get to the 17s mm -hmm. now like mm -hmm. i have to come back at least to the 19s i have Absolutely. to make sure my name is in that roster again so definitely i learned a lot and i took a lot from technical and technical standpoint in that yep. in that experience yep but i also had i wanted to make sure that it was not just a one-time thing yep i wanted to make it i wanted to make sure I, I could repeat it in the near future i mean that's a perfect mindset yeah. Because I feel like we need, as players, we need to be placed in those uncomfortable si yeah, in situations. Yeah, yeah, I, I always said it. Yeah, for sure, you have, have to be put out of your out of your comfort zone, out of your comfort yeah. zone. You know, and like playing again, playing with players that are just on a different level. That way, you know, you could see where where you are and where you want well, to what's be. What's the gap? Yeah, for yeah, sure. Because because like, like you said, right? You were you were getting recognized. You know, like pe pe people people know who you were. You're getting established. Yeah. In 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 your country. Not right? for sure. For sure. So it's like you know, a lot, a lot of players get get a little too complacent. 
You and know, that, and that's and that's where they stop growing. That's and what they I'm stop saying. Growing. You play with better players. You play in a better environment. Yep. And you can either match that bar. Yep. Or you or can, you can or you can crush. just drop yeah. under and Absolutely. crush under the definitely. pressure. Definitely. Definitely. And that's what makes. I think that's what gets out of her shell. Makes her mm-hmm. better player for sure. Mm-hmm. And you and you took it the right way. I took it the right way. I the tried right to match way. the bar. Had to overcome the bar. Absolutely. To this day, still in the same yep. thing. Yeah. Overcame that, and you came back, and you wanted to be better. You wanted yeah. to be better to get yeah. to keep on going. For sure. Right. So how was how was the fourth season, man? You know, coming back, playing the fourth season with the with the academy and with the school. I'm guessing. How was that? Yeah, for sure. The fourth season, it was good. Yep. Same thing. Went in the went in the national national tournament this year. Playing, winning with high school, winning every game. Yep, yep. It was almost at, at the point where it was getting a little too comfortable. Yeah. So that's when I started thinking that I had to look for options abroad, and started thinking about coming to the states, okay. play soccer. Yeah. How old were you at that time? Sixteen. Woo, yeah, 16. sixteen. So it's been like a five, six year growth program. And I was like, okay, like I'm actually starting to get better. Absolutely. This is like, this is good, but I know at one point I'm gonna need a new need, challenge. I'm gonna need, need a new need challenge. New I'm gonna meet the bar. Absolutely. And I don't want to meet the bar and just stay under the under the bar because yep. after high school, a lot of players stop playing back home. Mm, because okay. yeah, it's, it's 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 just it's not a it's not a, something that's serious for a lot of players. Yep, yep. So they just play high school, play club, and they stop and after they, they stop, graduate. Uh, yeah. But I wanted to keep on going. I wanted to keep on going, man. I didn't yep. want the dream to stop. Okay. You know? So so you you know sixteen lo- looking for you know a move. How did that go for you? It went well. I reached out to academies. I went to a training camp at IMG. Oh. Here in Florida, yeah. Okay, yeah that's yeah, my yeah. first exposure to I think foreign a foreign team. Went for three weeks to a training camp here. Went well. Okay. Got interest from the coach. Okay. Um, went back to the Dominican. Turned 17. Played another season. Same thing. Yep. The winning, winning, winning every game. Winning every yeah. tournament. Yeah. Almost every tournament. Yeah. Making new friends. Still getting better. Still yep. like progressing as a player. Absolutely. But the challenge was still not there overall. Mm-hmm. So like, okay, I'm playing against good players. But I, can, I know I, I feel like I can test myself against better players Absolutely. in the new environment. I Absolutely. want to be uncomfortable again. Yep. I was getting too complacent. Mm-hmm. And I think at 17 was when I got the offer from IMG to come oh, here to play in the States. Oh, okay. To do my, do my senior year here. Okay. And that's when they brought me over. Absolutely. Yeah. So so what was it a, a year after you tried out they called you back? Yeah, a year after. I did my I tried out at 16. At yeah. IMG, I went for three weeks. A year after that, I got, I got an email from the coach saying like, hey, like, remember you. Would you like to come? We can talk with your family. Wow, man. Try being here. I, th- yeah. I think a senior year will be really here. And you could. Pr- I didn't know what college soccer was back in the day, back mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, and they went like, we can try to get you in college soccer, possibly if you come and have a good year, and we'll see what happens. So I was like, okay, I didn't know what college soccer was. Yep. But I just but knew you're I open wa- to I knew, the I knew I wanted to. A new experience. I knew I wanted Absolutely. to go to IMG. I knew I wanted to play against different players. I knew I like Florida. Yep. So I, I, I said, why not? Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Made the move. Yep. So so let let's talk about that that three weeks you did at IMG right. Yeah. So you said it was the first time you know you were in a foreign environment, mm-hmm. you know playing playing with like a completely new team, yeah. a completely new yeah culture, system coaches yeah you know everything. How did that go for you? You know like how, how was that that three week? Trial? It went well. I expected I expected it to be really physical. I've okay. heard the American games really physical compared to the to the South American game. Yep, and it was true. Like I came up and guys my age were. Five inches taller than me, like yep. center back to actually six two, six three here, and I'm yep. still I'm yeah. still five eleven, six foot. Absolutely. Yeah. So and IMG too, man. Yeah, they got, I, I, they IMG, got the so top IMG, everything, yeah. right? They got the top athletes in the world. Yeah. And I didn't understand that at the moment. So people cool. go to their camp and they go try out, and they yeah. speak, all people from all over the world trying to do the same thing, try to get an interest from the coach, trying to get a roster spot in one of the teams. Yep. So I shut up. I mean, it's it's a three week almost like military camp, man. It's like people man. are grinding their butts off yep. to try yep. and get a squad. Everyone's living over there. Yeah. Someone's living on campus, waking up at six thirty a.m. Training the first thing in the morning, going to lift, eating, going to leave, lift again, going to training again, and then oh, going to sleep. It's the same thing for three weeks. Oh, yeah. my gosh. You're I'll there repeat. and you're focused, man. It's for sport. You're there for sport. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and then a year later, man. So, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, during that year span, you're like, man, damn, I guess, you know, they, they didn't, they didn't want to call me back or something. Right? Yeah, I was, that, I, was, I was pretty bummed because yeah. I, I could feel like I, th- I thought I did pretty well. Yeah. Coaches you know? thought I, th- I, th- I did pretty well. They yep. told me they would reach out to me and a year went by. Where it was pretty quiet, uh, and I was getting I was getting no emails. I was like, okay, well, I guess it's just not for me. Yep. And at, I remember I was in I was in school during school at school one day, mm-hmm. and and I was in class when this happened. I get the email from the coach saying like, hey, my name is Cole Gianluca. It's Coach Gianluca, I reached shout out, out. shout out to Coach Gianluca. Absolutely. He reached out to me first. He went like, remember you from the camp? Yep. Um, we liked you a lot at IMG. We think wow, you should come man. here, and we should we should have a word with you and your family. Yep. And yep. that's and I, I was over the moon, man. I Absolutely. think it was, yeah, life like, like day changer right there. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, you got that in you got that invite. Yeah. You told the family. How'd the family take you know what, well, what, what they were, the they, were they were they were they were they were seriously surprised. They didn't think 
they thought it was just sending me to a camp to yep. just try out, but yeah. they were not expecting much out of it because they know it's a lot of people practicing the sport, the mm-hmm. sport trying to get to the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they were really surprised. They went like, yeah, for sure. They were really supportive. So okay. shout out to my family. Shout out, they, man. Yeah, Absolutely. They, shout they out. They completely supported me since day one. I said like, I really want to try this. I really want to do this. And yep. I would love for you guys to support. And Absolutely. they, either if it was from a financial standpoint or a time standpoint, standpoint yep. they yep. supported me since day one. Mm. So I, wherever I'm at today, I, I'm really owe it to my family. Wow. Completely, yeah. Yep. So making that move to IMG, man, how was that whole process, right? And having to live and adjust, you know, to a whole completely different yeah. country. I think that was the hardest thing. Talk to me about Of that. the whole soccer career okay. I've, been, I've had until now. Yep. I think... Just the idea of moving to a completely different environment. It's not like national team anymore. Like you're mm. speaking a whole different language. Yep. You're not speaking Spanish anymore. I came here with a good base in English, but it was okay. not the best base. Yep. But I'm talking to teammates now. I have to communicate. I have to talk to my coach. I have to communicate again to my coach. I have to Absolutely. communicate to my teammates, to the trainer, if something's wrong. But it's all in English now. Like a really few people spoke Spanish, ING. And I think that's the hardest part, just getting being so far from home, so far from family. Yep. And but I mean that's every kid at IMG. We're all in the same position, same definitely, spot. Definitely. So soccer wise, it was fine. I did well. Mm-hmm. I, I, they took me under their wing. Called my coaches Keith Falk and Andy Thompson. Shout out to them too. And shout out. And shout they out. took me under their wing, and they made sure I had everything I needed. Wow. Soccer man. wise, absolutely, and absolutely. They almost have as parent like parent figures up there. Yep. And my teammates as, as well were they were they were really 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 caring. Really answer, knowing answer. that I was really far from home, first yep. year in the states. Yep. Yep. Really insecure about my game at first because I think I really thought I didn't fit the system. Mm-hmm. But a few months in, I felt I found myself in the really? D18 IMG, yep. the U19 yep. DA. Uh, with not without even trying like trying out for the team for that night for that team, they just put me up in the just team. Just put you up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and how many of the players were like you know from like different countries? Because I know IMG yeah. has you know is, is known for a lot bringing of in all. In my what team I mean? itself, my first team, I was in the pre DA, which would be the ECNL now. I think. Okay. That was. There were, we had like 14 different countries in okay. the squad. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, and then the DA team is a little more American based. Yeah. So I was, me and maybe two other guys were foreign players. And then we had all American team. Really? Yeah. That would be the MLS next now. Yeah. The DA yep. team. What are, what are some, you know, countries, you know, the players were here? You said 14, we had, man. We had, yeah. Uh, the 14, the 14 guys. Yeah. The, you, yeah. you don't have to name all of them. Yeah. Want to, no, it's fine. You had, you had guys from Haiti. Okay. You had guys from, from Puerto Rico. You yep. had guys from Germany, Spain. Ooh. You had guys from all over the world, Brazil. It's all, it's a big, big roster of Absolutely. a lot of teams. But it's like what I'm telling you, like a lot of countries, a lot of players see, look at IMG and like, yep. I want my kid to go there. Absolutely. I want to, I want to play there. Yep. So it's. Yeah, it's, it's just a game changer for a Absolutely. lot of players once they go there. Yeah. And were were you like were you the only new guy you know that year or like were they you know were they in like my squad good? I was the only new guy. Only yeah. new guy. So I think was already solidified. So I was coming into almost a brotherhood. Yeah. And I had to make myself part of that brotherhood Absolutely. within a year. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So so you know how was that 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 year recap of playing at IMG right like how was that year for you and like how how do you see you know how did you see yourself growing as a player? Growing was I grew a lot. I think that was the one after I again after the national team. I think that was the moment where I grew the most as well. I grew mm. a lot physically and mentally as a player. Okay, not as much okay. technically and, te- and technically. Absolutely, physically and mentally, I, I, that's I very important. I, too. Yeah, that's it's. I think mental is the, the biggest most aspect of the game yeah, for sure. Absolutely, if you're not strong here, you're not gonna be strong anywhere else. Absolutely. Um, I think finding myself in an uncomfortable environment, not in my first name, my native language. Mm-hmm. I think just playing with bigger guys, stronger Absolutely. guys, yep. and knowing that. I can't use my physicality, which I use a lot in Dominican, to yep. my game anymore. I have yep. to rely more on my tactical and technical yep. part of the game. Yep. I just embracing those mental factors and adding them to your game and knowing what to do and what not to do. I think that was the biggest change I, yep. I learned from IMG. Definitely. My coaches have a lot to like to to praise for this because they were the ones that made me made me understand that's more to my game than I just believed it I had. Mm. Yeah. Um, team wise, we won the IMG Cup. Oh. Which is celebrated every year. Yeah. I think we, we won. We had a three on one record, and so that's enough to win. Mm-hmm. We won the cup. We were playing the 18s. We were undefeated since I started playing with the team. We didn't lose a single DA game, and we we're bound to make playoffs. And then COVID hit. Yeah, 2020 oh, spring, COVID man. hit, and they sent us all home. What? Yeah. And that's and I was IMG for a total of eight months ish. No way, yeah, man. Instead of the full year, and they sent us home. They canceled DA. The playoffs were canceled, and we were all sent home. 
and from there was just trying to commit to a college. Oh yeah. man, so eight months of just it was grinding. a short span IMG, but it was a good span. Absolutely, yeah. You know, eight months, right? You know, coming into this whole completely new culture, I mean, completely different environment, right? Yeah. And really just growing, and mm-hmm. then COVID came, yeah. and it all stopped. It, you know, that stopped everything. I'm in a new country for I have been in the country for like two years even, and I'm I'm wow. stuck in Tampa. Yeah. Trying to emailing coaches because now I have to. I learn. I just learned that I have to try and go to college to play Absolutely. sport too. Absolutely. I didn't know it was college sport after high school. I was not aware of it. So Absolutely. now I'm trying to Ooh, find man. a roster spot. Trying Absolutely. to find a coach. Trying to, yep. Yeah. So after they, they you know, they, they sent you guys all home. Where, so what? Did you go back to the, the Dominican Republic? Stayed in Tampa. Stayed in Tampa. My family had some family in Tampa. Oh, you have family they, in Tampa. Yeah. Okay. They, they closed. They closed the borders in the Dominican. Yeah. It was. Oh. Yeah. So in, yeah. In, in the islands, they closed the they closed all the islands for everyone. So then if you yeah, were a resident, yeah. you go back home. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, it was close for me. It was close for a year-ish, the country. So I couldn't I couldn't go home, see my mm-hmm. family. Mm-hmm. Back home, I had to stay in Tampa and try to do the most out there. Exactly. And, just, you know, yeah. figure it out. I had a little soccer ball, so I just played there, did whatever. Mm-hmm. Was, we're still in lockdown, but yeah. I had to make the most out of the time, you know? Absolutely. And you said that was when you spent, you know, the most time or like a lot, a lot of time trying to piece together, you know, like different colleges. I pieced a lot of things together. I got really lucky with my recruiting process because it's a funny story. I mean, it's a story how I got recruited. I was in IMG, we were playing a DA game, and I was starting that game. The coach had told me before, like, hey, um, there's there's going to be college coaches at this, game, at this game, so be ready. And I'm there, I'm playing, I'm, I'm just playing, I'm having fun, I'm playing my absolutely, best game. Absolutely. We win the game 2-0, and one of my teammates emailed the coach from Jacksonville to come down to and watch game. that game, to watch him play. Turns out my teammate got injured in the practice before, but the coach was already there. Yeah, unlucky for him. Damn, yeah. And But I played a good game that game. And from there, it was the head coach for Jet for JU. He recruited me, okay, and brought me to the program. Absolutely. From there, and we just talked during COVID, during that little span of COVID, where they sent us home. We were talking, yep. and we we're finalizing the deal to come to JU. Wow. Yeah, okay. I got really lucky because he didn't come for me specifically, but I guess I I was lucky enough to stand out that Absolutely. day. I had a good kid, I got a good day, mm-hmm. and and my coach told me my my IMG coach told me like, hey, this coach liked you. Um, he asked me for your information. I'll do my best. It's a good school. It's here in Florida. I didn't know where Jacksonville was. Yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. idea where Jacksonville was. I just knew Tampa and Braden. Absolutely, and man. You know, you just came up to yeah, you came ball. to play soccer. Yeah, yeah I didn't know ball. what Jacksonville was. Yep. And and he told me it's a really good city. It's a really good school. It's a really good program. It's the one. Mm-hmm. I think you would like it. And just just went from there. I had a couple more offers from schools in Tampa, and yep. Florida, mm-hmm. a couple up north, but none of them. I didn't want it to be too, too far from home. I wanted Absolutely. to stay in Florida. Yep. Florida area. Yep. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So. Let's fast forward into you know like getting into Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. I mean to J- Jacksonville University. Yeah, yeah. Yep. How was that whole process? Right, jumping into the college system now. Yeah, it's you know it was when they say it's humbling for a lot of freshmen. It is humbling for a lot of freshmen. Okay. I registered my freshman year. I was at the level was completely what I what I did not expect. Again, you know when you're getting comfortable in a zone. Absolutely. I was getting comfortable IMG. I was yep. playing a lot of men's IMG, and I went like you feel like you can eat the whole world. So you go to a new system. You go to a team where you have twenty three year olds now. Oh, it's your first yeah. Time, your first time playing with 23, 24 Absolutely. year olds. You have grad students that are twenty five and twenty six. Oh my goodness! And yeah. you play with these guys that have been in the college system for four or five years, and Absolutely. they're they're, they're men. They're grown ass men. Yep. And you show up and you're playing players in your position, weight two hundred pounds. You weight one sixty. Mm-hmm. You come in, you uh, go like, wow, this is this is gonna be fun. Yep. Show up. We I came in. Didn't get much playing time. I think I played like five minutes my first year. Um, we won this. We won the conference. Won the Eastern Conference. Went to the national tournament that mm-hmm. first year. Mm-hmm. We had a really good first year. Um, I took a lot of that experience. We had a really good team. We had a really good squad of older players. We had a good mixture of older players. Okay. Supporting younger players. We, were, we, we oh, had like, really? we had like nine freshmen that year. Absolutely. So we were a big class, mm-hmm. and we had like six seniors. So it was a big class of. It was a big group of like a family. Absolutely. It's always been a family here at JU. You know, leaders. Yeah, le- I would you, say. Had, you had leaders, and you had people willing to be led. Ah, uh, so that's, that's, that's the most important thing. That's, that's a, a perfect. That's a perfect You had coachable, right there. Yeah. coachable players, and you had like coachable seniors as yep, well. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh man, well yeah, you you guys had a good thing going. We got a, on. we got a lucky mix of first year. For yep, sure. yep. So how was like the classes now, right? Moving into because I'm guessing was it the same or similar compared to IMG? It's, it's really similar compared to IMG. I think IMG does pretty well comp- at preparing you for the college Interesting. environment. Yeah. Okay. It's almost the same scale. You wake up, you go to training at IMG. For the team, and you lift, and then you go, you, you do your class, and then your the evening is yours. Yep. It's just, it was the same thing for JL. I was really surprised that you would wake up, wow. go to training, go lift, go to class. The evening is yours, do what you want. Okay. And I think that's what surprised me the most that I was, I, I didn't think I was going to be that ready for the class system. Yep. 
where at JU they're really they're really good at supporting your athletes and helping them mm. helping the foreign students adjust adjust to the system because they, they know they're not from here absolutely so it's it's, absolutely. it's almost a culture shock for a lot of them i was a little used to it because i g yeah but a lot of my teammates were not as used to but they at exactly. JU does a really good job at helping students adjust to that system their nice. station system for yep. sure yep and what what did you decide to 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 do or like what I, I yeah I I had to choose my first year I, I was gonna go undecided yeah and I had no idea what I wanted to do yeah, 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 I, yeah I remember who it was I think it was an aunt back home mm -hmm. told me you should study econ if you ever go to the oh, states economics yeah. economics yeah I know and I studied in high school at IMG I did it for one semester yeah. to see if I liked it I ended up liking it you liked it I never liked maths but I like graphing stuff like that interesting yeah and I yeah I, I, I double major right now in econ and marketing. Wow! Hopefully, getting my master's soon. So time flies. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. College time flies. You know. You mean you know about it. Yep. It, yep. Once you're busy, like yeah, you're not bro. even you don't even notice. You don't even work. notice how how fast that, that goes. day goes by like this in college. So. Yep. But econ though, really. Econ, yeah. Econ and marketing, yeah. Man, man, listen. Okay, I didn't really like econ. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really like econ, bro. I took econ. I'm like, man, how? Can I promise you, it's. Talk it's, to me about it's, that. It's it's fun like... if you if you try to make it fun. If okay. You, if you look at it, for okay. example, I hate. What's your major? Marketing. marketing. Marketing, I love I'm marketing too. Yeah. So for example, I, I had to take two accounting classes and oh. I I hate accounting classes. Oh my gosh. I, man. And I have accounting friends like some guys in the team are yep. accounting majors. Yep. And they say the same thing and it's just what you make of it. Okay. I guess yeah, I, I, I definitely I guess see it's that. the same with sport. Yep. Um so I, I try I know you can a lot of numbers and it's, it might be confusing, but if you try to make it relatable to Absolutely. like real life things you know? that you're doing in the, at the moment yep it's gonna be it's gonna stay here okay it's not man, all, yeah man I, after you said that I'm, I'm now realizing i feel like you know it's the same thing with, with sports it's like the mindset you go into it with mm -hmm. because you know yeah it's, it's how you approach how it, you really. approach it yeah yeah so i can't think i to this day i still hate accounting i hate math I yeah don't like i don't like numbers yep but, but i, I you, understand that if you approach it with a certain way in a certain way mm -hmm. you're more likely to succeed in that area mm -hmm. same and thing enjoy with it long term enjoy too. a long term exactly wow and enjoy and actually like take something out of it instead, just, instead of just seeing it as a burden you absolutely know? okay and to this day i'll always see accounting as a burden i yep. hate accounting yeah man i'm not accounted bro. I, mean, I like marketing marketing is a yeah, little marketing, more fun yeah marketing is fun marketing yeah. is fun okay so you chose you chose econ mm -hmm. your freshman year right moving yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, and added marketing. My and you added marketing. Yeah, my, my sophomore year. Your sophomore year. Yeah. So talk to me about about you know your, your sophomore year. You know with the club with the with the school. Yeah. How was that? Sophomore year is when I actually started seeing seeing playing time. Mm. I had I, my I, debut against. Let me think. I think it was Gulf Coast FGC away, okay. and we're okay. playing there. And I think it's just two games into the season. I think it's the second game of the season. I didn't play a lot at all last year, so I'm already more calm. You know, I'm sitting down on the bench. I'm calm. I'm just warming up. Seeing yep. If they need me, I'm ready. Yep. And coach calls like, "Hey, Kiko, you ready?" I'm like, "For real?" I'm like, yeah, for real. Um, I was a little more, I was a little bigger. I put a little more weight. I mm -hmm. was really skinny my freshman year. I mm -hmm. little put a little more weight my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. I felt a little more confident in my game too. Yep. Came in. Center back. Had a right back. Center back. Center back. We played a back three, so I played right center back. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Had oh, a really that's... strong performance on the Gulf Coast, which were one of the strongest team in the conference that year. Yep. Really strong performance. We ended up losing that game. Then we went to FIU, Ooh. and had a didn't start the game either. Yeah. But had a Played this whole second half. Okay. Had a really strong performance against okay, FIU. Against FIU, yeah, yeah, FIU, yeah. FIU, which was ranked some like twentieth in the nation. Absolutely, at, FIU. Yeah, yeah. yeah so time, we had yeah, a really yeah. strong performance against FIU, and third, fourth game of the season comes in. I, I'm coming back of two strong performances, and we're playing UNF. UNF, I don't know if you know UNF and JU second like rivalry. It's like yep. the two Jacksonville teams. Yep, yep. So it's called it's called the River City Rumble. Oh. We're playing UNF at JU. Yep. So it's a full oh, crowd, like 200 people absolutely. watching. Absolutely. And the JU field is small, so 200 people looks massive. Massive. And it's my first college start. I we're we're in the breakfast in the morning, and they, and they pull up. We we have breakfast in the morning every time together, and they pull up the starting eleven for the oh, for the afternoon. Oh, okay. Really. So you find out who's gonna start the day the, of. the day the day off. Yeah. But you can tell in training too. But it's not nothing's for sure exactly. unless you see the, 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 the eleven. And I see my name, the right center right there, Kiko, for the first time alive. Really? Yeah, and you see, you see my teammates are like looking to the side and looking back at me, like, 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 devin me up and stuff. Absolutely. And I'm like, I, I'm just nervous. My, my first college start, I'm gonna mm -hmm. play against actually grown as men. Absolutely. I think that day was one of the best days I've had in college. Mm. I ended up getting the man of the match for the game. Really? We won one zero. Was our first? I, I think it was our first win of the whole season. Yep. Game four. Yep, we beat our city rival. We have a trophy for the game every time Absolutely. whoever wins it carries a trophy in, the, in in whatever field. Yep, and stays with the trophy for the whole year. I got to carry the trophy. I got to live the trophy. Man, yeah, I got a match, match the performance. Played, to, played to at ninety. So it was the first. It's a perfect way to start my 
I actually like like kick off my college career. I felt I felt ready. Wow. Felt in place. I Absolutely. Felt like my feet were in the in the in the like back in the ground already. Mm-hmm. And from there, my sophomore year was a lot of I had a lot of starts. I think I had like nine, ten starts. Absolutely. Played a lot more minutes. And from there, it was just growing my my. We didn't win that year. I think we got knocked out in quarterfinals in the conference oh, tournament. Okay, yeah. yeah. But still, at least personally, as a player, I think I saw a lot more time. Absolutely. A lot more growth. Yeah, a, lot a lot more, more confidence, a lot more trust from the coaches, from the yeah. staff, and from the, the, the and team. And it's crazy how you know how just one game can change your whole path in the college because it's so short. It's so short. It's so yeah. short that one bad game can put you off for three games. Yep. Really. Yep. And one good game can set you in the, in, the, in the starting lineup for a couple games. Wow. But I definitely grew as a player myself. I think yep. that was the step in stone in my college career my wow. sophomore year yeah i think it's just the mentality i came in that year definitely that's for sure big. That's after big. that year i went to summer ball for the first time okay i would play uso2 for tampa bay united okay um played well had fun made a lot of friends that's, that's when i actually started seeing people from a lot of, a lot more colleges in the country come out for one common goal like we we're talking yeah which is trying to make playoffs for uso2 mm-hmm. we didn't make playoffs that year um we know we're playing all these big teams. We're playing Nona, Villages. Yep. They're strong Absolutely. USL2 teams. Absolutely. So yeah, they, yep. have, they bring expo yep. players. We're, a, we're more of a college-based team. Yep. How, um, how was it play, playing against those like USL teams? Man, it's, it's, teams, it's, right? it was fun. Man. Yeah. Because there's, you don't have the pressure of a college game, oh, but it's still a it's USL2 still, game. And yep. you, like, you still have fans, and they Absolutely. have like the local fans watching. So it's, Absolutely. it was really fun. You're playing for a city now. You're playing for like, you're not playing for a, club, for a college anymore. For you're college playing for like your city of Tampa. You're playing against Ocala. You're playing against Orlando. So it's wow. pretty tight. It was actually really fun. Yeah. Yep. And I'm guessing the level was was about the same. Was Ooh, about it the was same. about the same of college, if not a little higher for Ooh, sure. Because you have ex pros playing in the USL too. Yep. Different from college, so you have, you have you can get really old players like 32, 33 year olds. Oh wow. And you can get like the, your, you know? your normal college age, 22 year olds as well. So I think that was a pretty big thing. Yep. Regarding the college level to USL too, and I think I think that was the most fun about it that you actually get to play. Guys that actually played in the MLS before, played USL before championship, mm-hmm. or played in Europe or played abroad, and they're actually they're playing here for the summer ball. Absolutely, just to, just to knock time off. You know. Yep. Wow. And yeah. and like and I really like you know get that get that work in over the summer. Yeah, you're right? getting you're, get and working. you're also getting better. You're lifting. You're Absolutely. Training. You're you're meeting new people, and they're making you better as well because you 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 get to see. I think that's the first time I actually get got to train with people from FGCU, Stetson, oh, UNF. Yeah. So the people, again, just like in the Dominican national team, I'm playing, I'm training now with the people I, use, I play against Absolutely. year long. Absolutely. So now we have to be friends for two months. Yep. I'll make, make peace for two months and mm-hmm. then after two months are gone, we can be and it means we can we can be rivals exactly, again, but for exactly. sure, it was a different experience. It was a fun experience for sure. Wow. So, and then you said you pick up marketing as another yeah. major. Yeah, the year. So why? why? Talk to me about I why. think I felt like I had a lot of free time in college. Oh. And I felt like econ was good. Wow. Was so good. You, G- were, you were killing things, man. Cause man, I was making t- I that. was making time, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've always said college is about time management. And as long as you know how to manage your time, you're going to make the most out of every experience in college. Interesting. So that you have time for everything. Yep. I felt myself like I had a lot of too much free time. So I went like, well, I like marketing. I like the idea of of. of digitalizing stuff like mm-hmm. marketing myself marketing mm-hmm. athletes like mm-hmm. the marketing behind sports marketing Definitely. stuff like that absolutely so when like why just not add it i asked my my academic advisor can i add marketing and he's like yeah for sure i already had a couple classes down i just had to knock a couple more and now next semester i'm gonna finish my marketing finish degree i already off, finished yeah. my econ degree i'm just finishing my marketing degree right now jay wow man yeah. that's a, that's that's big that's really good no, i appreciate it yeah but i mean you're marketing too you know how it is you know I mean, marketing yeah, yeah, yeah. marketing is fun it's a marketing fun major really fun yeah because you get to learn about stuff how like Companies market stuff absolutely, you know, like and, like, and and I feel like after you know you, you take a, you take a couple of classes and you like you know really like learn about the talk about marketing. Yeah, I feel like you look at all of things differently. You look, yeah, you look at everything. You're like, okay, like now I understand how this is working. Exactly how, how they're doing. Yep. Like you understand like companies are working yep. as well. Yeah, you, you see like a company's like logo or, or like something like they're promoting. And you, you know like, what okay, they're doing. You know yeah, what they're. Yeah, you can I, go I like, okay, I think I know what they're doing. Yep, yeah, absolutely. For sure. Yeah, so that I think I feel like that's like a big benefit of yeah. being a marketing. Yeah, it's it, not not even that, but it's also like understanding how the market was as, as well. You know. Definitely. Like now you know you're in a foreign country you're like oh I know mm-hmm. what they're doing this mm-hmm. like I know what they they don't sell this here like this other there I know why Absolutely. they change prices and stuff you yep. know yeah market for sure. segments and all that all, all, all of those all know, the fun stuff, marketing yeah. stuff yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so okay so finish it off sophomore year right you know you, over the summer you played USL two coming in coming in junior year the, the coaches trust you I'm guessing yeah. I'm guessing I'm, they, I'm, they, I have know. coaches trust I have How coaches trust I'm a starter okay you're for starter my first now. three four games I'm a starter okay we go on the undefeated the first three games yep. I partially tear my MCL. No. Yeah, my junior year of college. Yeah. I'm out for, I try to play through it. 
I get set out one game against Watford. I remember mm-hmm. we hit, we, we played the Watford? first three games. Watford, yeah, South oh. Carolina. Pre-se- oh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. And we, I think we 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 beat some Cali teams the first three games, and then we played Watford, South Carolina, lost there, and then we have a big game. We have a first conference game against Lipscomb. Oh, when they came off from being the conference champions last year, the my yeah. sophomore year. Yep. So we have a big game. I'm sorry, I'm not in the starting lineup that game. They arrested me for the Watford game. I come back to the starting lineup. With, 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 the the, partial- with, the, with the knock in my left leg, yeah. I have a partial tear in my MCL. I yeah. thought I could make it because it was bothering me, but it was not that much. Exactly. Show up to the game, couldn't even go past the 25th minute. Yeah, I got subbed out. I was yep. not, I'm not having a good performance. Our yep. team is looking weaker. They all, I think we were a little too confident, too. Uh, but I'm definitely not having my best game. It's, yep. uh, it's also partially because I have bandages all over my knee. I, yeah. look like I, I, just, come from, I just came from the ER. Yep. From there, yeah, it was really in and out my, my junior year. Get to see a couple more minutes, but they didn't see much because of the injury. Mm-hmm. I go back home, get treatment back home, come back for summer ball, get to play summer ball again. My my for my after my junior year, okay. in Tampa Bay. I'm already healthy again. I'm yep. starting almost every game for TVU. Um, I'm back in the starting lineup. I'm, I'm getting minutes. I'm just getting fit again. Wow, in yeah. the junior year. Yep. Yeah, it's a junior year. We didn't win. I don't. I don't think we make the conference tournament that junior year. Yep. We didn't do that hot as we could have. Okay. Junior year. Yep. But we definitely. I think it was a. That's a that's a year when we had a lot of players graduate. Ah, we had like a big senior class, and we had yep. a big transfer class go yep. out. Yep. So we had a big transfer class going, and a lot Absolutely. of freshmen. Absolutely. So a lot of the freshmen in the team were getting used to the college experience yep. that yep. year. They, I mean, they were forced to. At that they point, were they forced, forced to, to mean, pick it up. At earlier. one point, if mo- your mom and your mom and comes, you're you're thrown out there. Yeah. And I, we I feel like we had a lot of players that were just thrown out there. And yep. And, they, and did they did they match it? Were I, they able I, to I, handle I prob- it? I think they try to match it, but we were beaten at times. Uh, but they definitely did as much as they could for yep, sure. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that was your so- that's junior my junior year. year. My junior okay. year. So then, so then coming I to I saw a lot of more. I saw a lot more minutes that same junior year. Yeah. But mostly not as a starter. I would finish games. I would. They would nurse my my injury because I already I couldn't I couldn't register anymore because yeah, I was already, yeah, I already had you game started time. Three games. I started three games. I started games, yeah. game time, so they, I couldn't be registered anymore. Damn. So I was they were nursing my injury while at the same time giving me some playing time just to save fit. Yep. But nothing really. Um, as big as my sophomore year, I think my sophomore year was where I, I peaked, and started as in starting positions, and I started a couple more games my junior year. Okay. I think I started like a couple of seven, probably seven, six yep. games. Was it like towards the ending of of the season? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once yeah. I got better, I started yep. just starting a lot more games my my okay. end of the season for all sure. All right. All right. Yep. Play for TVU. Yeah. Came TV. back from my senior year, mm-hmm. which is now. So senior year, I'm guessing you know you came. So you came into your senior year yeah. fit. I was I was fit, yeah. You were fit coming as to senior could be year. A, yep. I had already fit senior year coming in senior year. I I had contact from the U twenty three national teams back home. They were talk to me about that. Yeah, they were making the team for the Caribbean and Central American Cup. Yep, which they make every three years. Absolutely, yep. And I, I was one. actually getting the recognition I was waiting for. I haven't, I, never mind, I haven't heard from them since U 15s Yep, so it was a while. Yeah, it was, it was a, a while, while back. Yeah, a while ago. Yeah, and now I'm. 20 getting getting a text from the from the assistant coach and like hey need your passport need your documents Woo. we're making a team and you're in the scout list for the u23s yeah i mean i'm 20 so i think there that i think it was a confidence booster coming into my senior year i did not end up making the team i they made the team they didn't make a a, a tryout or anything they just really made the, so yeah. they just picked you know they, they, made, they, they just made picked and choose just which was really well it was kind of a bomb yeah exactly I mean, I so yeah it, it, that, it was bro. it was bad I, they, I think they that. for that tournament they mostly picked faces yeah they picked a lot of local players that were playing in the professional league back home in the dominican yeah, I, yeah. I guess that was it was, was what's easier mm-hmm. they didn't take a lot of foreign players so i, wish I did the same it's still thing, fine yeah. yeah still fine to get the recognition but i wish i had that experience yep for the u23s they went there they didn't do too good either yeah but I still have the the idea that, I, that they've been looking at me. I think yep. it's mostly because of TVU and GU as well. Absolutely. I mean, just, that, that's just, just playing time. How absolutely. Tape, you know, just putting you know? yourself out there. Yep. Just like getting that that call from them alone, man, it made you it made, it made you realize, you know, like, okay, I'm doing yeah. good. I'm doing send, good. Send, I sent them my documents. Yep. Um, didn't hear from them for a month and a half. The tournament, it's asked me two months before the tournament, like, hey, we're making the team. Didn't hear from them for a month and a half whatsoever. And I hear two nights before the tournament, I hear from them saying, like, Hey, we ended up not choosing you. Two nights before. Two nights before the roster came out. The day after, what? The, the day after they told me the like the, the the preliminary roster for the yeah. tournament. Two nights before they told me like, hey, we ended up not choosing you. Just be aware that you're still in the scout for the national team because I'm already I'm I'm basically too old to be U23 now. Mm-hmm. I'm about to be 22, so they're they're, they're trying to like get progress to the older players, yep. the younger players. Sorry. Yep. yep. Like, we're still looking at you for a national team. It's still a possibility. Mm-hmm. Just stay active. Stay in contact. 
we ended up choosing different a different skill different skilled players different yeah. a different profile players yep. Plus yep. I mean, which i mean i understand the time and so i said whatever like i yep. can't get mad at all that exactly exactly it's their decision i wish i had i had the call but it's fine exactly you know, and we can't really this one with different profile players um tell me two nights before though and then the roster came out the next day and it was it's honestly heartbreaking yep working so hard and waiting so waiting so long yep absolutely so like you know the idea of representing your country again like yep. hearing your anthem on the biggest stage you can against absolutely. other countries oh, I, was really, I had really high hopes for that experience but hopefully in God's hands I can see that in the, in the maybe in the first team or if any other teams they make absolutely hopefully yeah yep. they yep. have the they're going to the Olympics the soccer they made the Olympics so oh, okay. there's a roster coming for 2024 in okay. Paris so hopefully that's you know, a goal. That's a goal absolutely. right now. Absolutely, prayed up. You know, we yeah. say prayed up. Yeah. And then hopefully, we'll, man. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how it For goes. Sure. Yep. And that and that happened before before the senior the start. year started. Okay. Yeah. So that's okay. all during the summer of my junior year still absolutely playing for tv absolutely i'm guessing man after something like that happens right it's it's it's, it's one of two things either it it gives it makes you more you, it, you. It, yeah. it makes sure it breaks you it, yeah. if it makes you for that that's that senior if it broke you for that senior year so i think i think it did year. both i think confidence wise the idea of being being scouted for the national team it sets you in a platform almost but i think i think the the fact that they went for another player or for other players mm -hmm. With almost the same profile, but maybe just a different couple of things. Maybe just because they're local, they have a exactly. little more exposure than me at the, at the yep. moment. Yep. I think it also got me mentally. I came in strong my senior year, played a couple of games. Was not a solid starter in the team at all. Not as my junior, or my senior, or my sophomore year. Yep. Um, I think that's a lot to be with my with the experience I had in the summer uh, with, with the national team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely, I played some minutes. I I didn't have the starting role I wanted to. But I was definitely there within the team. Yep. I'm more of a leader now. I'm yep. one of the captains in the team. Yep. Now, I mean, coming fresh as a freshman, now being one of the like five, four captains in the squad, mm -hmm. definitely uh, it's an honor for the. I mean, as well, it's a new coach. So our coach got fired junior year. Oh, because really? Of bad results in the junior year. Yeah, yeah. So we got a new coach yeah. senior year. Um, we had a change of leadership as well within the team. So. And um, um, that was this year, right? That was this year, yeah. We had leadership, new players coming in, okay. different playing style, different yep. profile players. Yep. No, different coach comes with different different ideas. Definitely, yeah. So, still a really good guy, really good coach. Just just different viewpoints in the game as well. Absolutely, yeah. Yep. Yep. And I'm guessing, you know, give him like a year or two to really, you know, yeah, really get like, accustomed like to... Yeah, really, like, you get accustomed to the idea, get accustomed to the players. He brought his own players from his old school. Absolutely. Brought some players he knew from before. Yeah. He's making his team how he sees it. How thing, he... You know? Exactly. Because at the end of the day, it's his team. Exactly, right. I always say, like, you have to, if you here, can't yeah. adapt to a coach, might as well find a new team, you know? Absolutely. Because Absolutely. that's, I think, you have to, people, a lot of players understand these days that you're playing for someone. Yep. They're not playing for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. So, so you know, senior year, right, you know, so you're almost done with, with, with almost school. Done. Yeah. Right. You, you said you finished off the, the econ degree already. Yeah. You're going to, next semester, up. you're going to finish it off. So, you know, you're seeing, like, time, time is passing, man. Like, you know, it's, all, it's almost time, right? So, so we have to make a decision, yeah. Yep. So, so what, what, I, what, like, where's your heads at, right, moving forward? So I've had the opportunity, the great chance to train with the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Okay. The USO Championship team. Yeah, yeah. Every summer I go with TVU, I get to train with the Rowdies. So that's a really good experience. I trained the whole summer with the first team. Mm -hmm. So I'm training with basically pro players. These guys okay. are. And the level there is it's incredible. Like you you would get done by a guy and you wouldn't even get like like find out that you got done. Really? Yeah, it's that they're that good. So it's also but you get to match up again, like you it's the same thing every time. You get to either match up the bar or get crushed or by the crushed, bar. Yeah. So you get better. Absolutely. So hopefully after college, I still get a fifth year. Yep. So oh, I still because yeah, of yeah, the yeah. rest of year, the COVID year. Yep. So oh, I yes, still, I still yes. get the one more fall. Yep. Hopefully get okay. a good fall in. Absolutely. Get some stats up and yep. Keep going to TVU. I'm gonna go this summer as well. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, keep training with the Rowdies. Keep just keep my level up. Just keep training, keep grinding. Definitely. And try to find something out and out there in the game. Yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. Yeah. There's a way. There's, too there's many contacts, too go. many networks. Yeah. Absolutely. For sure. Definitely. Definitely. Wow. Is there any advice you'd like to give anyone, bro, who's like in the Dominican Republic or sure. anyone that's like try in the U.S. or any anywhere around the world trying to you know make it to the next level, make it to the next level? For sure, I would, I would, I've always said it. I've said it to my to my little my little brother and my cousins all the time, my, my family members, everyone back home too. I mean, once you leave the country, you looked up to a lot because they they see you as a guy that actually made it out. Yep. Made it to college, made it to play. Yep, definitely. And that back home, that's something big. Yep. And that every time I go there, I always tell them, don't let the situation you're in define what you're gonna be mm. it might define what you are right now but it can't it won't define where you're tomorrow absolutely so don't let you being in the dominican and you playing for a club in the dominican be the reason 
why you can be a pro player tomorrow. You can play college tomorrow. Absolutely. Because maybe that's your actual, your, maybe that's your, 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 your actual situation right now. Oh, okay. But it's not, it's not going to be your future situation Absolutely. tomorrow. Absolutely. You're going to be somewhere Absolutely. else tomorrow. Definitely. So Appreciate just make it, that man. a stepping stone of your next step. Yep. It's just, I mean, it's, I mean, soccer's a roller coaster, man. Absolutely, you're going to have ups bro. and downs, but you got to make sure you go as up as, as much as you can and you Absolutely. go as down as slow as you can. You know? Absolutely. And, and I feel like, you know, like like you said, right, with, with a good mentor, bro, you, you're able to balance it out. You're going to have those up and ups and downs. But you're going to be strong here. You're going to be sure. strong here. Definitely. For sure. Wow. But yeah, just don't, just make the most out of every opportunity mm -hmm. and just make the most out of your current opportunity right now. Absolutely. So make sure it's different tomorrow. Absolutely. Don't be complacent with where you're today. Be be yourself today. Can you be better than you were than you were yesterday? Definitely, For and, sure. and 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 you know all those who who are Christians or who be, or you know who who, who believe, yeah. right? You know, trust in God that trust in God as much, yeah. Heart, right? Putting put His hands. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and and whatever whatever it's His goal, it will be it His will goal happen. for sure. Absolutely, Amen, yeah. Yep. Well, man, you know, it was really, really good having you on the podcast. Oh, thank you guys for we, having me. Yeah. yeah, we were like talking about it for, for a, a little while now, you know, yeah. really able to get it done before you yeah. head back to the Dominican, bro. Yeah. You know, are you excited to go back? Right? Yeah, excited to go back, excited to train. Hopefully yep. go train with one of the clubs like there. Yep. Just stay fit for the spring. We have some really big spring games coming soon. Yep. You need to come up to Jacksonville. Yeah, bro, I'm going to have to come up and we're watch, waiting. Man. We're waiting for you there, man. You know, okay. you have a house there. Yep, yep, so, absolutely. Yeah, yep. so, I mean, yeah, we're getting ready. Hopefully staying fit, staying healthy. Hopefully okay. staying safe as well. Yep. And yeah, thank you guys for the opportunity. It's awesome being here. You guys are doing some really good stuff up here. I really, for sure. really appreciate you, man. Really? Well, well, man, it was really, really good having you on the podcast, man. And hopefully we can do this again in the future. Yeah, for sure. All right, man. Always here. Yep, it's yeah. a pleasure. Man. All right.